On behalf of the Vindicator, it is an honor for me to have the privilege of presenting the Vindicator Dollar Athlete of the Year Awards. Um, I think this is about my 12th year and it never gets old. It's, it's great to see the accomplishments of the student athletes here at Youngstown State. Um, I would like to congratulate all of them for their tremendous hard work both uh, on the court or the field or in the pool uh, of their sport of choice and all, but also in the classroom and in the community. Um, I would also like to recognize and thank Ron Strollo and his staff uh, for everything that they do in cooperation with us. It makes our job that much easier and for the leadership that they provide for all the coaches and the staff here at Youngstown State. I'd also like to congratulate all the coaches again for being able to work with them on a year-round basis. Um, even though Coach Slocum doesn't really care for my basketball officiating skills. Um, and never hesitates to let me know that. So uh, there, there we go. Um, the, the line I used a few years ago was, I was never a very good scholar, and I was never a very good athlete. And Coach Slocum jumped right up and said, well, that makes you a perfect basketball official. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, the coaches, I think it's a, it's a reflection on the coaches as well that we have so many student athletes to, uh, to honor tonight because they've done a tremendous job in recruiting not only athletes who can compete at the highest level, but also young people who understand the value of a solid education, a great education and what it means to them 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, and the rest of their life. And uh, they are to be congratulated for that. Um, let us move along. As uh, policy, or as tradition, we, we go females first. Uh, Samantha Format is a three-time Horizon League selection and twice named Horizon League Golfer of the Year. She's had three, in her three appearances at the Horizon League Championships, she was first in 2009, third in 2010, and second in her final appearance this past weekend. In 28 career tournaments, she has won six times, placed second on five occasions, and had 23 top 10 finishes. Just as importantly, maybe more importantly, she owns a 3.74 grade point average as a major in chemistry and pre-pharmacy and will graduate from Youngstown State this spring and before attending pharmacy school this fall. It is my pleasure to present the Vindicator Female Athlete of the Year Award to Samantha Foreman. To the Vindicator, the Penguin Club, YSU Athletic Department, Dr. Cynthia Anderson, our YSU President, <coughs> all trustees and administration of YSU, and Horizon League. Along with all the scholarship donors, especially my donors the past two years, Drs. Michael and Diane Millador, and Mr. and Mrs. Joseph and Olga Melmasor, I extend my deepest appreciation for everything you have done for all of the student athletes here at YSU. Wow, look at how many of you we need to acknowledge for making our athletic career here at YSU not only possible, but also a truly great and memorable experience. Little did I know that when I began playing golf at age 10 with my dad and brother, that it would all lead up to this moment here at YSU. I will never forget the days when I first started golfing. I would hit the ball about six or seven times, and then my dad would finally say, always with patience and a smile on his face, just pick up the ball, Sam, and get in the car. <laughs> I guess I finally realized that if I wanted to keep playing with them, that I would need some major improvement. And with the help of my dad, that was exactly what we set out to do. It was with the support of my mom, dad, my Aunt Rosalind, and grandma that I was able to get where I am today. They made many sacrifices, so I had the chance to play in many different tournaments, both far away and close to home. They taught me how to be not only a good student and a good athlete, but more importantly, a good person. Because of all the years of practice and hard work, I have been lucky enough to find myself here at Youngstown State University, surrounded by many other student athletes. All who have followed many different pathways to arrive here today, but nonetheless, we all have one thing in common. We can all say with pride that we are a YSU Penguin. <coughs> During my three years here at YSU, I have learned what the game of golf really stands for. 
how to be a better athlete, a better teammate, and a better opponent. My time here at YSU has taught me how to play the game with respect, respect for those who played before me, those who played with me, and those who will play after me. Before coming to YSU, I always considered golf to be an individual sport, but boy was I wrong. Because of my coach Roseanne and my teammates, I have learned that you win as a team and you lose as a team. When I came onto the team my freshman year, I definitely had tough shoes to follow in. My teammate, Katie Rogner, who I've had the opportunity to play with for three years, had an outstanding freshman year. She not only is a great golfer, but more importantly, a great teammate. She was very supportive and helped me to adjust to playing golf at the collegiate level. Whether we were driving in the van or on a plane to Florida, I felt like our team was always bonding. During my three years here, I couldn't have asked for any better teammates. I want to convey my personal thanks and appreciation to Coach Roseanne and her husband, Nick. They have both been, been very supportive and someone that I know that I can turn to both on and off the golf course. They have made my success here at YSU possible. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be standing up here in front of you today with the honor of receiving the Scholar Athlete Award. Being a recipient of this award is a very memorable and humbling experience. I am honored and deeply indebted to have the opportunity to accept this award. As I always remember my cousin Kimmy, who passed away at the age of 24 from lupus, saying, all things are possible with hard work, much determination, and most of all, faith in yourself. We are given many choices in life, so choose carefully. Believe in your dreams and reach for the impossible. It's never too early, it's never too late to do so. As I leave YSU to attend pharmacy school in the fall, I will never forget the opportunities and experiences that Youngstown State University has given me, both on the golf course and in the classroom. Like every other student athlete, I have had many ups and downs, both athletically and academically. Sometimes, as all of you student athletes know, it isn't easy to juggle sports and schoolwork. But as the actress Mary Tyler Moore once said, you can't be brave if you've only had wonderful things happen to you. I feel that my three years here at YSU have given me a solid foundation to continue my future endeavors, whatever my future may hold. Thank you all very much, and I wish the best of luck to all of the student athletes here at Youngstown State University. truly tremendous uh, organization and, and identified certainly by tonight's, uh, tonight's outing and, and everything that they do for the university and the athletic program. Uh, Vita Sulska scored the fifth most points by a YSU player since the program moved to the Division I level in 1981. He is 16th on the all-time scoring list with over 1,300 points, second in YSU history with 169 three-pointers, fifth in career minutes played, eighth in career steals, and tenth in career blocks. He scored in double figures 67 times in his career and leaves averaging in double figures for his career. Majoring in business management, he owns a great point average of 3.27. It is my pleasure to present the Male Athlete of the Award to Vita Solskis. team and I'm flattered to receive this award. For those of you who were at the scholarship ring banquet in February, you probably think that I'm just going to repeat my speech from that night. If you walk through Stamus Stadium, you'll see all of the previous scholar athletes of the year. The picture of Grim Humphrey always served as some extra motivation because he was the last basketball player to win the award. And I always thought to myself, what a great honor it would be one day to have my handsome face to put up another one. <laughs> and now 
album came in reality. <laughs> However, I didn't want this award on my own. It's as, as much as my coaches and my teammates, but as it is mine. I'd like to thank all my coaches. Coach Slocum, Coach DePauli, Coach Ernicki, Coach Thorny, and Coach Pekinowski. Over the last four years, they've become more than just coaches to me. I consider them dear friends. As for my teammates, I'd like to thank everyone that I stepped on the floor with since my freshman year. From John Barber, Jeff Lyles, Tom Parks, to the guys who have played this year. <clears throat> We're always shared with special moments on the court, like being the last team to beat Butler before they lost in the national championship game. <laughs> <laughs> the most memorable game for me will always be the one against Milwaukee when I made the game-winning shot my sophomore year. I'm grateful for being able to play in every game of my career here at YSU. I'm proud to have scored more than 1,300 points and rank among the all-time leading scorers in school history. What you probably don't know is that I also ranked second all-time in career fouls with 307. <laughs> <laughs> when you do the math, that's more than three fouls per game, which makes me a certified hack. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Coach Berkey for all of his support and John DeNeco, who as I find out my first name my freshman year doesn't like to be called Johnny Boy. <laughs> Special thank you to Jamie Hall and Rob Schmidt. A huge thank you goes to Marilyn Bruba. She's always smiling and always willing to help. Because of Marilyn, I will graduate this summer with my degree in Management Information Systems. That is my most important achievement here at YCU. I'm happy that I was able to attend classes in the New Wilson School of Business. I learn from the best professions. My degree will definitely help me overcome any challenges that I may face later in my life. I have my sister to thank for finding me a high school to attend here in the United States after leaving my homeland of Lithuania. Gage in Florida is where I was first introduced to my host family, the Cokers, who watched over me during my high school days. I truly appreciate the love and support that they have given me over the years. Most importantly, I want to thank my parents who I have not seen for two years, but I know that they will be very proud of their baby boy. I am very thankful for the faith and trust they had in me by allowing me to leave the country at the age of 16. Lastly, I am very honored to have been selected as the Male Skull Athlete of the Year. It, it is something I will always cherish. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>